U.S. Ambassador Gary Locke and President of Tmall.com Daniel Zhang recently received the first batch of American cherries shipped to China as part of a collaborative sales campaign. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has been working together with Tmall.com, China's largest online business-to-consumer online shopping website, to bring American food products to Chinese consumers. The USDA's Agricultural Trade Office in Shanghai and Tmall.com have most recently launched a pre-sale campaign to run until July 8th, when Chinese consumers can put down deposits on American agricultural products on Tmall.com's pre-sale channel at yushou.tmall.com. The promotion is to include 60 different products, including wine, hard liquor, seafood, pork, as well as freshly picked cherries. Now, in the past, about one-third of cherries produced in the U.S. is shipped to China. The pre-sale model allows suppliers to accurately estimate consumer demand and is estimated to save up to 50 percent of supply chain costs. Now, during the first three days of the campaign, which began last week, about 20 tons of American cherries were pre-ordered. So what do online shopping loving net users have to say about the U.S. ambassador getting involved in selling American produce? Well, let's check out some Weibo comments to find out. It really bothers me when politicians and diplomats put on a show for the camera. It's simply deceptive. It seems to me that economic conditions in the U.S. are deteriorating. The U.S. ambassador has turned into a salesman. I'm surprised the China State Administration of Industry and Commerce is not checking Locke's trading license. I think it's very funny to see an image of Locke holding a basket of cherries. In China, fruit vendors rank in the lowest socioeconomic class. Government officials, on the other hand, make up China's top social class. If the cherries are not tasty, can we file a complaint with the U.S. Embassy in Beijing? I suspect the U.S. of dumping their agricultural products in China. We must launch an investigation. I wonder if Locke is just trying to make some money on the side as a product promoter. This is exactly what an ambassador should do. An ambassador should do everything he or she can to create better economic, cultural, and political ties between two countries. Perhaps Locke can do something about the price of cherries in China. The price in China is more than twice the price in the United States, and we don't make nearly as much here. Amid ongoing food safety scares in China, ranging from baby milk powder to produce, meat, and even rice, containing hazardous levels of chemicals, Chinese consumers with money to spare have been turning to imported goods. According to Daniel Zhang, the president of Tmall.com, in the first half of 2013, the company saw a 500 percent surge in sales of imported foods on the online shopping platform. According to the USDA, agricultural exports from the U.S. to China reached over $500 billion last year up 34% from 2011.